Hey guys, Will here. I want to uh, take a moment and discuss some of the dangers that astronauts face when uh, doing spacewalks or in space. So here's a National Geo top five uh, dangers while repairing the spacewalk, uh, the space station. Suit punctures, micrometeors, or tiny shards of metal could cause a puncture, cause a catastrophic leak. Um, decompression sickness, uh, exhaustion, loss of consciousness because it gets really hot, really cold, um, accidental detachment, and leaking water in the spacesuit. Okay. So, um, this is recent troubles highlighting the dangers of the spacewalk. So, um, uh, malfunctioning cooling system started filling up their helmet. Uh, NASA suggested they build a snorkel out of drinking straws. Um, it's just kind of funny. So there are dangers. Okay, um, here's USA Today, spacewalk emergency among some of the dangers. Um, NASA survived a close encounter when they could have drowned. So they're, of course, pointing out all the other dangers. Um, constant threats any which can prove swiftly fatal. Space rocks or orbital, orbital debris, a medical emergency, fire, toxic air, and hundreds of other risks. Um, the most important danger a, a station astronaut encounters in orbit is when he or she steps out of the airlock and into orb open space. Do with far more regularity in the station area than any previous one. Every danger inside is aggravated outside. Okay, so it's a uh, it's a dangerous, dangerous area. Okay, so here's universe today: how micrometeorite in impacts pose a danger for today's spacewalks. The problem is micrometeorite and orbital orbital debris impacts. Uh, that's broken uh, satellites and all kinds of stuff. These are nothing new. Pits and tiny cratering, cratering has been observed, but this is the first time we've seen talk of damage caused by impacts on the exterior of the ISS. Um, the handrails um, are a danger a hazard because they astronauts rely on them to move about. Um, sharp metal rim because it's like a uh, bullet impact blade out. Gloves tearing, and so they toughen the toughen the gloves, and they looked at uh, the impact. So if the impacts can do this to metal, and have a you know bullet impact of metal, what can they do to the seats, uh, to the suits? Sorry. Um, now let me show you this last one. This last one's an interview with an astronaut, uh, Michael Massimo. And this is a uh, kind of press for the movie Gravity. Okay, and he was talking about his uh, spacewalks and how some of them are eight hours long um, when they were fixing the Hubble. So there's all kinds of dangers when you're out for something like that. So he spent like 30 hours um, spacewalking. So the dangers. And they were talking about how... Uh, they just switched tanks, and Columbia got a problem with the tanks, so that's that's why they uh, they felt bad. Um, debris. You mentioned these tiny pieces are so small and fast you wouldn't even see it. And he says, right, that's the thing. You're traveling at 17,000 miles an hour. The other thing is going about the same speed in the op opposite direction. That's pretty fast. That's a collision at 30. 5,000 miles an hour. That's a big impact. So something even really small can do a lot of damage. Okay, we have all these concerns. Debris, extreme temperatures. Uh, do you have any psychological training to deal with the to deal with the fear? And he says, no, not really. Well, this is odd because every time the set, every time these uh, astronauts seem to suit up for the spacewalk, 
they don't seem to be scared, be afraid. It seemed to be modus operandi, uh, operations as normal, right? So they're saying just deal with it. Be as prepared as you can. It might be pretty scary, but after all the training, I knew everything forward and backwards. I'm sorry. All the training does not prepare you for the dangers of, hey, look, that's a pretty good-looking globe here. It does not prepare you for the dangers of space, of dying, of never coming back to your family. Okay? You guys know the risks and the dangers, yet you go do it. What motivates you to take these risks? Um, <clears throat> I think most astronauts are not risk takers. We take calculated risks for something we take is worthwhile. Well, I just don't agree there. Um, I mean, of course they can simplify it that easily and just say it's calculated risks, but uh, what I don't agree with is they even said that they are doing spacewalks more often than normal not. More often than in the past now. How have we not had anybody get hurt by micrometeorites? How have we not had anybody get hurt by orbital debris? We're not just talking the International Space Station. We're talking the moon missions, too. So even back in the time when our technology was lacking, zero deaths in space, every single piece of equipment and part of the spaceship and parts of their suit, every single piece was fine. Nothing caused a catastrophic failure. No astronauts' deaths in space yet. We have some die on reentry and some die on launch. The dangers of those to me are a lot less danger than space. But those are my problems with it, guys. Um, this is proof. I'm just pointing out something that's sketchy to me. Again, judge for yourself. Uh, love you guys. Thanks a lot.